don't need your air air brakes over there. I can see. This is what Dory said. I feel like people are too. Like Cancel before you I even stop. Be a little further out, 
but those are gonna be so expensive. They're very expensive. Very expensive. But I'm excited to see this community, y'all. I heard they have like what they got, baby. I heard they have a lake. Okay, they got a lake. I heard they got like three swimming pools. Three swimming pools. A tree house for the kids. Okay. Uh um workout facility. Okay. Like you you're in a community. Like this is like your own community. Right. Like who gonna leave you don't even need to leave the home. Yeah, but that's the thing, like if I'm not mistaken, I think our friends that are going to possibly live out here, I think they work from home. But we don't work from home. So because we don't work from home, we we drive into our jobs pretty much every day. Yeah. So it doesn't almost make sense to live too far out because we going to feel it every day. Yes. But God willing. Because mm -hmm. won't he do it? Because he will. Say what he will. he's going to do is put us in a position where one of us can work from home mm -hmm. or whatever you know what i mean or me like or you or me <laughs> throw that out there or you eventually get to work from home and then i'm just an entrepreneur right you know like and i got something going on because you know your girl got her mics oh you got your mics they in they in the house mm -hmm. in the box do i haven't pulled them out but so you want to pull out your mics today yes please okay and on top of that, I am going to pre-record a try next week. Okay. Why you say it like that? No, I'm just, I'm, okay. this is my first time hearing it. I'm hearing it with them. Because so. y'all know me. I be nervous about a lot of stuff. So, the plan is to record my first podcast episode. And it's just a trial. Okay. So, like, I want to do one with you. Jasmine said she'll come over and she'll do one with me. So, it's just like, I feel like we about to get ready. Yeah. Oh, I think you and Jasmine are going to be so cute. So, we about to see. We about to see. Because I don't, like, you know, we be having this conversation. I'm like, girl, let's talk. I don't have a name yet. Mm -hmm. But I be like, man, let's, like, I don't know. I should be like, let's talk about a podcast. Or, um, I don't know. What do you think? I need a name. Figure it out. I know. Y'all already know how I feel. I 100% support my babe in her podcast uh, adventure. adventure. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, or her journey. Yes. Um, but babe knows. It's all on her. Like, the mic's still sitting at the door that she ordered. Because it's all on her. I don't know if she... I'm not saying she expected me to, like, pull them out or do anything. But nah. most of the time, I would have. I would have been like, oh, you got mics? Let me, like, open them up and see yes, what time. Yeah, set me up. Uh, Set me up. Uh, 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 uh. You want me to set them up myself, baby? That ain't how it works, babe. How does it not? You supposed to get them out, set them up for me, and get the. You didn't. Even, I didn't even know I you got a podcast. I mean, you, honestly, about, I didn't even know you were ordering mics. So I know I did it on you, just because you did it on your on own. own. You already you doing good yeah. without me. And I ordered two. You doing good. Mm -hmm. So why do you now need me to set them up? Why don't you like you gonna be having guests come over? So you need to know how to work your mind. Yeah, I need how to, to know like what I need and stuff. If, like I need to make sure they're good. Like I need to test them out. Mm. So I'm now did you get some good mics? I hope you ain't gonna cheat. What? Oh lord, baby, I need. I didn't want to. I, I I heard that you know whenever you become a real real podcaster, you get those sure okay mics. But somebody sent me these mics mm -hmm. and told me they were just as good. Okay, and I'm gonna try them out. All right. And I need to pull them out because in case they don't work, I got to take them back. Okay. Send them back. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go cheap, no. I just didn't go super expensive. Okay, yeah, I feel you. Like, go midway. Like, yeah. when we first started off out YouTube, like, I did kind of basic. And then I realized, like, okay, I want better, a little bit better quality. I want a little bit of better this. But this is once we were knee deep into it and I knew what I was doing and... Mm -hmm where I wanted to go with it. So, no, that's good. I'm proud of you, baby. Yeah, so y'all help me think of a name. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be like, I really don't know what type of name because it's like, I want to talk about everything. Like, my, my podcast is, is, is open conversation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like, we're going to be an open book. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I want everybody to be honestly them. Like, I don't want nobody. I feel like, I mean, I should just call it You Might Get Canceled Podcast. <gasps> no, for real. If y'all knew my wife and y'all really knew like the way she thought or thinks, or about how you think, then I'm okay. I feel like that should be okay. I that. often tell my wife, babe, please don't say this around anybody else, or please don't say that like 
again or but to me you may not feel me but somebody else might feel me and that's okay if you don't feel me and I've yeah, said but, that multiple times yeah but I feel like sometimes if I'm telling you like don't say that again I'm only telling you for the sake of like offending someone else yes like 100 percent. but okay that takes me back to and this is why i'm like this we, this is our first podcast episode right here okay yes, that takes me back to like the other day what's the name mentioned something some girl i think her name was like pretty b mentioned like the fact that gays are off limits or the lgbtq community is off limits or whatever and it's like because people are so sensitive and it's just like well then what do people talk about because it's, it's not like we, people are really trying to offend people I but don't. that's what you that's what you mean. Just because you don't mean to offend someone doesn't mean that you haven't offended someone. The way I might say hello might offend somebody. No, Deron. No. We're talking I'm just saying, we're like, talking in context of making specific statements okay. about specific things or okay. people that can be offensive or it could just be lack of knowledge. Knowledge. I and I don't ever want you to come I know you as my wife. But even as my wife, when you say certain stuff, I'd be like, Lord. So anything that I said yesterday when we were having a conversation, was anything offensive uh, that I said? Well, a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Not 100% because I do, I do believe if you feel a certain way, you should be able to feel a certain way. But I also think it should be preference with this could be offensive to someone. Okay. Like... I know you might plan on having this topic or a discussion, but Dory feels like she don't feel like the LGBTQ plus community should all be grouped together. I know. In this conversation, it could pretty much be an a hour's worth of conversation. Yes. But at the I, end of the day... With that being said, I don't have anything... I don't, I don't feel any way towards any, any of those letters. But... I just feel like why do they talk about them in a group because we're all different okay I do feel like you know certain topics or certain fights are you know might be the same in certain ways but that's just like just because I'm black doesn't mean I gotta agree with everything that's black and I feel like it should be the same with the whole LGBTQ community and I get that I 100% I get it but there it's like certain things like for instance that's the overall topic mm -hmm. right but then you will start saying specific things about the topic. And I'm like, you can't, like, yeah, you can say that. But you can't say that. And I just don't ever want, you know, obviously podcasts aren't live. At least I don't think you're going to be doing live podcasts. I don't know what your goal is. But if you get to edit it, cool. If you are going to be doing live podcasts, like when no, we... No, I don't want to ever do live podcasts. Yeah, like no. I feel like... That is where I feel like, yeah, you can call it. I might get canceled podcast because I 100% believe you are the type of person with the way you think sometimes or say certain things. Uh -huh. You're 100% gonna get canceled, and that's where that, that's the part that scares me about doing the podcast because why can't I not be honest? Like, why can't I be, two people have a conversation and not <laughs> like that's the thing? It's like, why? Why is it because that? honesty? Being honest, your honest doesn't equal to being right or or being politically correct. Okay. Or being accepting. Because uh -huh. some of the stuff you might say just might be downright like offensive. And I don't mean to be. It doesn't matter. There are certain there are certain things that people say that they don't mean to be offensive, but mm -hmm. it don't mean that they don't get canceled. It don't mean that they don't like people don't side eye them or be like, okay, you know what? If those are your beliefs, I can't rock with you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just feel and like... it's okay. <laughs> I just feel like, keep that in mind as you embark on your podcast journey. Because I do feel like you have a really good personality. Believe it or not, as y'all know, Brittany and Dory is my thing. Like, that's... It's Brittany and Dory, but Dory, she want to do a podcast. I don't. I would prefer to set up a camera, have our conversation, edit it 50 months later, and y'all see it when y'all see it. And that's what it is. So in my podcast, I don't want it to be like something where I'm talking about something. I just want to be able to have these conversations and topics. Wait, you don't want to be? I don't want it to be where like it's always going to be about you know offending anyone or anything. I just want to have conversations that are out there. Okay, but tell me this: what makes pot? In two like, miles, take exit three toward West Cartwright Road. Don't what what makes a podcast good to you? When you watch a podcast, 
what makes it good to you? I think when I watch a podcast, I like hearing different people's point of views. Mm -hmm. I like being able to have an open, honest conversation. Mm -hmm. I love podcasts that are funny. Mm -hmm. That, um, like, just shows everybody's different personalities. Like, you know, just talk about anything. Like, I want to I be able to just talk about, I want to be able to have girl talk. Mm hmm and it all, I'm not gonna say just all girl talk, but I, I want to be able to. Sometimes I, when I'm seeing, you know, podcasts with people and their friends and stuff, it's, it's kind of like if we're sitting in, a, in a, at the house with our friends, right? Just having that conversation, and everybody have different point of views. So everybody can agree or disagree, but then we still walk away as friends, right? It's it's no it's no it's not like a. I want to come for you or I want to prove I'm right or prove I don't want none of that on my podcast I don't want it like we're proving each other right or wrong I just want to have a conversation because I can learn something that person can learn something we can see things in different point of view or I just want to be able to just have a good time okay that's what I when I when I watch people's podcasts I'm watching it for a good time I'm watching it for a good laugh I'm watching it to learn something it's but, one of her favorite podcasts but she don't even know the name of it <laughs> It's poor minds, mm -hmm. I think. I don't think it's poor decisions. But yeah, I really like them though, because they just like, to me, they're like my girlfriends. Like, you know, like we be, they be kiki and they be cracking up and they get, they can get serious and everything. And sometimes not everything's so serious with me anyway. So I just like to joke around and have fun. So that's about why, three miles, I just want to have a, right. I just want to have a, you know, a good time. I still, that's why I said, I'm still kind of like on the thing of like, I'm scared because I don't know what direction it's going to go into. I just want to talk about it. Oh. You know, I just want to talk about it. So we'll see. And like I said, I'm not. I don't want anybody to get on to this video and be like, "Well, what does Dory think about the you know LGBTQ community or whatever?" Because um, y'all know she she only been a part of the community <laughs> for as long as she known this beautiful face right here. So and that's probably why I tell her all mine. the time. I said, "Baby, what you just said? Some she's even said something that I kind of had to be like." You got mad at me. No, I just simply told you. I said, like, you haven't been a part of this life long enough to have an opinion about why somebody else wants to be referred to or called something. I said, you only know this life for the seven and a half years that we have been together. So for you to speak on something that you only have limited knowledge about, that's why I was just like, I said, I I don't agree. But do you feel like I came in a bad place? I came, like, I came, I brought it up, like, in a bad light. Like, it was, like... I yes. Think, yeah? Yeah. Because, yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, you're... When, when somebody speaks of something with little, knowledge. like, knowledge or background or history, and you're just saying it just because it's how you feel, I do feel like sometimes I come from a bad place. You, why do you feel that way? Like, did, why do you care enough about how somebody else identifies to feel any kind of way that's 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 the point matter of fact here is your first podcast this is what dory said i feel like people yeah, are too like cancel before you I even start <laughs> let me tell y'all what she said dory <laughs> said i don't understand why at our big age and i said <laughs> Whoa. Why does it matter how somebody refers to themselves? But why does it why at an age do you get capped at how you can be referred to? If somebody were to call me a stem, which is a femme and a stud mix, or I really like to say I don't have any labels because I really don't go by a label. And maybe that's how I feel because I'm not a label person. Yes, but in reality you're still a femme. Are you a her? Are you are you a her? <laughs> Are you a she? Yes. Okay, so at your big age, why do you need to be a her or a she? Hold on, let me fix it. Well, I ain't they. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, that's what I want. I want to just laugh. Like, it's not yes, like I'm being, I want to be rude or anything, yeah, but, but it's again, still kind of no, like, no, no, no. I want to make a joke out of something that's always so serious. It's on to the right. That's good. It's, it's to the, the right. Movie. Okay, I know. I know, but this is the Is that's what it's called? Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay, we're about to get off of here. But it's simple, like, do we want a kiki? But I do feel like it is possible to be laughing at someone else's expense. Hey, you're right, you're right. And that's why right. it's just like, 
do what you do, boo boo. But I just was saying, like, I understand if it, you know, a stud, if you want to be called a stud, that's fine, whatever. I just said, like, you know, at this big age that we are at, like, why are you still calling your, I don't know why I just said, why are they still calling each other this, themselves studs? Instead of just being like, I'm just a, a woman that's masculine. Okay. At the next so left, that's, turn right. If that's your question, why does it matter that somebody would want to be called a stud? It doesn't matter. So I, that's why? Oh, no, why? But, but that's the thing. When you say like, you make it as like a, like a bad we, thing. Yeah, okay. like turn at this right. big age. I guess the way I say it, it yes, that way. If you but say it, something like at this big age, you're pretty much saying like you too grown to be. Yes. All right, we got to go, y'all, because we got to show y'all this little neighbor, this big neighborhood or community. Uh, so with that being said, it's your girl, Brittany. It's your girl, Dory. And we are Brittany, Brittany and Dory. Brittany, don't cancel me yet. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Stop what you're doing, hit the subscribe button. And if you've been subscribed, then you've been riding with us. Ain't nobody gonna hold you down like I do. Stay true to you like I do. Spoil you like I do. Adore you like I do. Clean for you like I do. Cook for you like I do.